Crazy. <laughs> He's actually having a go, man. G'day, guys. My name's Brett. Hello. Hello. I'm with my family. Sunny, stay away from that road, brother. A bit of a stretch of the legs, and we're just heading up to Portland for a bit of a fishing trip. Yeah, so today we're going fishing down at Portland. That's what we're doing. Today, Portland has a diverse fleet of around 60 professional fishing boats that catch many different types of fish sustainably. In the summer months of the Southern Hemisphere, a natural process called the Bonnie Upwelling happens near Portland. It brings nutrients from the deep in the ocean to the surface, making the area rich with sea life. Hang on boys, look at how big he is man. While I was recording the commercial fishing boats, a massive elephant seal approached, seeming to greet us. However, it was wise to maintain a safe distance from these creatures, as they can be quite aggressive. This particular seal was enormous, easily tipping the scales at several tons. We well, don't go too close, it will, it will eat you. Oh, really? Righto, guys, so this is where we're staying. I'll just give you a little tour. So there's four bunks in there. There's my room. What's happened, Sob? I need some water. We stayed at Portland Holiday Village, offering the perfect blend of accommodation situated right in the heart of town. The kids enjoyed the activities at the park and there was no shortage of playmates for them to engage with. We're going fishing. When I launch the boat, I just leave their seatbelts off and windows down because the boat ramp is just as dangerous as water getting run over by a boat. I, it's, it's not really a great situation either way. All right. Good work, bully. All right. Hey. There are sailboats. What are you on? Good morning. It's about nine o'clock. It was a bit windy this morning, so we didn't, I didn't want to push the kids too far, so we've waited till it's backed off a little bit. There's a few tuna going. Oh, Zach's just gonna put out the spread. Oh, we hope so. Not the best conditions for the SOGs. They're pretty keen to get onto a tuna. Hey, Sog. Yeah. We're nearly in the area where we were getting them the other day. After trolling with lures for about 15 minutes, we got bored. So we decided to look for tuna with our eyes. We really just wanted to have some fun catching tuna on top water lures. And that's the main reason we're out here. Go out that way upwind of them. So we blow back into them. That way, that way, that way. So we've got tuna just here. Bit more, go up, go past them. Yeah, go slow. See the ripples, how the water's gone, <sighs> moving the opposite way. If you're a fisherman that has a small boat but would like to catch a tuna, the North Shore is quite protected and provides great opportunities for anglers in the summertime. You're not gonna get them from there. Go past them and we'll drift back into them. Yes, yep. yeah, good work, Zach. Yep, another one. Watch your Alright, come up the back, down the back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dog. 
now they're down again. Yeah. Oh, they're right under us. Yeah. Hey, watch out, Sonny. Oh, no, you want first. Yeah, 100%. I'm right in them. They're just straight out the back here. Can you put this away for me, Sonny? Just changing lures to this one. I was getting them on this last year. Oh, there they are behind us. They're just over here. We're going to creep up on them and go right around and use the wind and the swell. They're just in here. They're going up that swell there. You won't see it because you need Polaroids on. You might be able to see them if you look. They're just in here. Yeah, yeah tune hundred percent. We just won't get big enough cars here, Zag. We've got to go up them. Got to go round. See them? Yeah. Them, yeah, all right. Yeah, but we'll snooker them off like this. All right, Bulldog. Time to shine. Time to shine, Bulldog. Yep, yeah, you're in it there, just straight ahead. Your next cast will be, they're just there. You see them? Yep, just there, where I'm pointing. Oh, yeah, I had a follow, I had a follow, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit. Just go, go, go. I'm on, oh. Yep. Oh, you're I'm on, on. You're on. I'm on. All right, just hit him, buddy. I am. No, I'm not coming. It's a little bully. Go down this side, go down this side, buddy. There he is. Look at him, Sonny. Go down this side, man. Yeah. Look at him, they're all... Sonny, come on, Sonny. Sonny, look. I got one. A little bully. Do I have to get the hook? Oh. Yeah, get the gaff out for me. Oh, no. We're netting him. We'll get the net out. The net is right next to you. Oh. Um, don't get get the net back in. Zach's gonna have to do it. I'll get it. It's all right. Leave it. Just leave it. Just watch the trebles, brother, for the kids. Right. You like it or not? Oh, we'll just let him go. No, there he is. Look, there he is, Sonny. No, There's one with him. Look at the ones following him. Bullshit. I swear. Did you go? Fuck. He's a good one. Do you want a leader or just net it? I just net it. Now here he comes. Watch out, watch out, Fletcher. If the trebles fall out, I don't want you to get one in the eye, brother. It's honestly not very hard. If I can manage two kids, shoot a video, and catch a tuna all at the same time, I'm pretty sure you can too. Gap it. Gap him? A, yeah. Hit him? Yeah, hit him, mate. Hit it. Right, he should be on the surface for a bit. Hit him, hit him, Bull. <laughs> yeah, Bulldog! Good job, Brady. He's a bull. Oh, they're coming out the boat. Look, Sonny. Look in the. Look. They're right under the boat. Keep going. Fast, fast, fast. He's on it. Slow down, slow down. It's found up. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Yeah, actually. Can I get him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? He's a big one. All right, let him go. He's all right, boys. He's all right. No. Yes. Little bull. Hey, he's doing the dogger. He's doing the dogger? Just get up there, get him around. Doggy. Oh, where's the gap? Where's the gap? Where's the gap? Let Brady hit one. Oh, where's he going? He's going to come up. What's the gap? Go to the back. Nah, it's comfy here. It's a bigger fish. You haven't changed the drag, have you since yours? Yeah, I'll come to the Oh. Boy, boy. 
<laughs> you gonna have a good hit at him, buddy? We, fucking gee, we got him. We got him. Look at him. There they are over there. Shit, they're coming to us. We gotta get out of here, man. Look, Sonny, you want to catch look one? Them over there. Should we get Sonny on one? Yeah. <laughs> As we were returning to the ramp, a guy that we had met earlier was on to a nice kingfish. It's probably, it's probably just a just salmon or a king. I reckon it's a king. Bull's playing with it. Good job, brother. Thank you. How are you? I sent Zach up to the tackle store to buy a cooler bag. Zach being a curious kid, he wanted to make sure the way he filleted a tuna was correct. So he asked the guys at the tackle store and they were more than happy to show him. Uh, they'll just have pockets where they, are, where they are. See how the meat's nice and yeah. fine? You're pretty good. That That's down. pretty good. There's a bloodline down here that we're gonna cut all the way down. Yep. So you don't worry about any of that center line. Yep. This is a, this blood's the stomach, stomach cavity. Yep. All right, so that's just what's trapped in it. A lot of people see that spew out the bench, they'll go, oh, you didn't bleed it properly. Yep. It's not in the meat. Oh. So it's all good. Down there. Yep. Go deeper if we have to. And join that up to where we are. There. Let's it. Yeah, there's nothing left on there. Yeah, that was alright. Everyone said they went a bit better this morning. Yeah, it must be the lead up to the moon, right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we've been in between moons, no tide change, no nothing like that. Yeah. You reckon all the way up to the moon they'll keep going? Normally it'll get better. Yeah. Or You'll get your quiet times, but. Yeah. Normally, it's generally, we get better. You remember that Louis picked out last time the top water one? Yep. Yeah, I need you to show me that. I think I lost it today on the feet. Corretas? This one is Do you want to spit a bit more on? Eight socks. I'll have that bit. That bit's a bit raw for you, socks. After the boys enjoyed some fresh tuna, we went down to the Lee break wall. The far end of the breakwater is in water that's 12.2 metres deep. It is a fantastic spot to have a fish land based. During our visit, the boys managed to catch a kingfish. In addition, we saw salmon actively jumping out on the water right in front of us. boys it's uh, six in the morning and today Zach's going uh, he's going with Matthew Hunt on a uh, charter my dad comes to this in SA and I get to spend a day with him out here in the 50 meter line out the back. Some sort of shark, I think, boys. Threes! <laughs> Good bite. Good boy. Oh, yeah. It's a nice gummy. gummy. All hooked up to the shit out. Yeah. Gum dog on the reed. <laughs> Say? Eon two. Yeah. He's on another one. Let me get the real one. That's how you do it, Jim. Lord, you're gonna have to grab your fish and go on him. How I really get the most out of the clients? You do this. What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I can't> <laughs> oh. fish this one. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, Sam. Oh! Here's your Ah, yummy. Get it in the 
Anything on board? You've got to square up, but it doesn't really matter because you can just trim it off. You just go down the bit you've cut through the cartilage on. Just trim it off till there's none of that white stuff there. And it's just like a perfect fillet like that one. Uh, there's plenty of knives in here, but just look. Surely you count too. <laughs> I do, I do now. <laughs> Can't deny that. Look, he's he's right out near that school, man. I swear. This is just a eighty dollars Sedona. Yep, three four thousand. Another successful day fishing. Portland had turned on the weather for us. And after fishing, we decided to go and explore.